Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickett. And yes, guys, this is another amazing edition of Wake Up with Trickett. I hope everybody's doing exceptionally well on this super Saturday, guys. Today, guys, I got a message for you. And the message is love. And before we get into it, guys, I want to first show my gratitude and say thank you for my new subscribers. Hope you stay for a long time and not a short time because iron sharpens iron here and we are always growing, thinking outside the box because that's what keeps us growing because we don't stay conformed to just one way of thinking. And if you're my OGs, you've been with me from A1 to day one. <laughs> hey guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate your loyalty because as you know, I am a very faithful and loyal individual so uh i appreciate it and if you are brand new and you are just coming coming across my page however you found me um it was meant for you to find me so uh sit back relax be a sponge and soak up this knowledge and hopefully just hopefully uh it'll be able to help you in some way shape form or fashion and with that being said, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's jump right into it. Uh, okay, guys. I'm not going to try to make this too long. <laughs> um, outside, you hear my chimes. I'm always grounded <laughs> in nature. And so uh, it is what it is right now. So let's get into it. I feel, guys, what's lacking in today's world is love. I mean genuine love, true love. I'm not saying lust. I'm not saying greed. These are the things that replace love. I'm not saying those things. I'm not saying hate. I'm not saying slander. I'm saying love. You know how many divorces there are right now because love was lacking in the relationship? You know how many children and adults, men and women, are abused on a daily basis due to lack of love? They have replaced their love for something other than that. And therefore, the foundation falls apart because love is what's going to keep it together. It's like the glue. And so when you replace love with lust or you replace it with hate, anger, when you replace it with greed, when you replace it with violence, when you replace it with doing innocent people wrong, when you replace it with with anything other than love on top of love, love and forgiveness, love and justice. You know what justice is? Love. You know what forgiveness is? Love. Does forgiveness mean you have to go back to the person? No. It means you learned your lesson. It probably hurt you really bad. It probably even left you with some trauma. And so you learn to forgive. Why? So you can heal. So you don't walk around being a victim all day. Because if you're a victim, you know what you're going to do to other people? Hurt people hurt people. So even if that's not who you were, that's who you will be. Because you never heal. Somebody that had no love or was lacking true love did to you. And you don't want to be a duplication of that individual. If you're going to duplicate someone, or if you're going to duplicate something, duplicate, duplicate love. Will you have to take some hits? Absolutely. Because we have broken people in this world. And they lack love. 
That's why the divorce rate is so high. That's why your man cheats on you. That's why your woman cheats on you. That's why you're told lies or half-truths. That's why people try to steal from you, take from you what's not yours, and act as if it's theirs. That's why people will try to bamboozle you out of your good thing. It's because of lack of love. Because see, love won't steal from you, lie to you. Love won't hurt you. Love will comfort you. Love will, love will be a listening ear. Love will be a shoulder to cry on. Love will come with compassion. Even if love doesn't understand it at that point coming from that individual. The compassion will still still be there. So you'll still see the traits and you'll still benefit from the attributes of love. <sighs> love is not prideful. So when you come across prideful people, arrogant people, we have people that do people wrong, don't feel that they need to apologize. We have people that have hurt other people and don't feel they need to make it right. We have people that have stole from people. We have we have human trafficking of women, kids. It's crazy. And all of that is because they replace love with something other than love. They replace light which is love. That's why you got that LL. <clears throat> they replace love. They replace light for darkness, for greed, for lust, for lacking love, people. And if we all learn to heal what has traumatized us, what has hurt us, what keeps us in our head, constantly reliving it, rethinking it, going through them going through those emotions on a day-to-day -day basis, never healing from it, but always being wounded from it. We will never grow. You can never be the best version of yourself like that. So I'm not here to take up a lot of your time. Because I know everybody gets what I'm saying. It's love that we're lacking. It's love why you can't fix whatever problem you're going through with whoever you're going through it with. It's love. It's love that it's lacking. Love is quick to forgive, but it's also quick to ask for forgiveness when it's made a mistake. And I say mistake because it probably wasn't intentional, intention, intentionally done. And even if it was and you had a dark moment, there's more love in you, more light in you than darkness in you. So instead of waiting and waiting and waiting or rethinking should I, should I, should I, or writing it down and then, oh, no, that's not it. Or in doing all that, let me talk to this person about it or that person about it. And instead of doing all that extra nonsense that keeps you away from doing what's right, doing all that extra stuff that keeps you in the dark, keeps you wounded, keeps you from healing, love even if you made a mistake, will quickly ask for forgiveness to correct itself. Because love understands when I do things like that, to elevate, to be my highest and best self, I'm still able to grow, to become a better version of myself. But 
when you trade that love in because you might have pride. Um, and then you sacrifice growth to stay stagnant and hurt and be a victim. How long do you want to be a victim for? When you should be a god, a goddess, a champion. When you should be someone great, someone amazing. And you can be when you place love at the forefront. So that's all I came here. That's all I came here to say, guys. Is that I just believe we're going through so many injustice and injustice in this world. Yeah, I believe we're, that there's so much darkness, there's so much pain. People have traded love to do all these other acts, to commit all these other crimes. What do you think crime comes from, guys? Lack of love. And they traded it for, I'll take it from you, I'll wrong you, I'll do this, I'll do that, whatever the case may be. People are broken and unhealed. And so that is the contrast in this world from the light, that darkness within that stops you from healing. And as you know, this world is full of darkness and there is some light, but I challenge everyone that believes in love believes that the world needs true love, believes that if we pour more love into this planet, that we can heal this planet and that the people will also heal. And we can also make it a better place for you, for me, for all of the generations to come. But if we choose to keep replacing love, for darkness, for negativity. And then we're always gonna we're always gonna have a big portion of this world broken. We're always gonna have victims. We're always gonna have people walking around unhealed because they're t they're still telling the story about what happened ten years ago, fifteen years ago, five years ago, six months ago, whatever. When we realize where we're at, and it's not where we will be because it doesn't make a good, it doesn't put a smile on your face, you see more people walking around with frowns, you see more people walking around with their head down, like they're always looking for a penny. That's because they're unhappy. That's because they're lacking love. And you're just seeing it. That's all. So, hey, guys, I challenge everyone to light a white candle today. Doesn't matter what size it is. Just light a candle. For those who believe that if there is more love in this planet, on the, it, yeah, that was more love in this planet, that the people will be better, that if, you, if, that if we practice unconditional love that we would feel better be better and we would also do better if you believe in that and then you light a white candle today you light a white candle today put that in chin out there I'm not asking you to walk away from your religion I'm not asking you to join a different religion sign up to uh, believe a and a different God from what you believe in. I believe in if you believe in God, whoever your God is, I'm true. I'm sure that your God is a God of love. So there should be nothing wrong with this, right, guys? No religious differences and stuff like that. I'm not even a religious man. I'm a spiritual man. An earth angel. Sent to a world of darkness 
to help heal and raise the vibration on this planet? Am I outnumbered? Grossly outnumbered. But I'm not alone, not even in the flesh, because there's others like me. Are there a lot? No. But are we out here? Yes. You have those that believe in what I've spoken. And if you believe in it, and then what is it to go buy a candy, go to Dollar Tree, spend a dollar, dollar, dollar twenty-five, if it was now. And light that candle and say, I'm lighting this candle to promote love. I'm not promoting nothing else. I light this candle today to promote love. Let me say it one time, one more time and say it slow so you understand it. Buy a candle if you don't already have one, a white one, purity, and you light it and you say, Enlighten this candle to promote love because God is love and love is God. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, people are out here in nature and just chill for a little bit <laughs> and promote love. Because I'm getting ready to light my candle. And I hope you guys see the same. With that being said, <laughs> my name is Trickett. And this is Wake Up With Trickett. Where we think always outside the box. Till next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>